Hey baby, what's I'm, going on? I'm fine. Um, is there light? Yes, so they just brought the light. Since morning. <laughs> you didn't mind these useless sniper people. Thank God they even brought light today. Ah, uh, that's mad though. Help me iron that sky, um, that my pink shirt. I want to use it for a meeting tomorrow. Ah, okay, baby. Uh huh. Don't forget to buy my suya. All right, baby. I will see you soon. All right, bye. Wait, his favorite shirt. Hope he's not among the clothes he gave me to wash three weeks ago. Check. It's not here. I need to pin the laundry basket. Let me check. Okay. I need to quickly wash this thing at iron before they take this light. Okay. Oh. I need to be fast with this. What is this? Hey baby, my love, I got you your suya. When did it happen? Sorry, what? Who is she? Excuse me. Check your shirt. Check your shirt, check it! Red lipstick, Jude. So tell me, who is this woman you're cheating on me with? Um, baby, I can assure you this is a misunderstanding. Absolutely, yeah. It's it's not what you think, okay? I want you to explain to me how we got them. Look me in the face and lie to me. You know, that way I'll respect and appreciate you more. Go on, I'm waiting. Babe, I, I made a mistake. <laughs> I thought so. And baby, wait, please. Come on, babe, come, let's talk about this. Get lost! Baby, please. How could I have been so careless not to have noticed that stain? Call her again. Stop. 
とうございます。Okay, for me to go disturb Kate at this time. I go disturb she and her husband. This is late. Where do I go back home?
In the short time that we've been together, I have fallen helplessly in love with you. There's no reason for me to keep waiting. <sighs> Kate, please marry me. Yes, baby. Yes. Yes. between us kids.
Wow, you look nice. I like the outfit. The pictures, shall we? How long exactly are we supposed to keep up this pretense? As long as it takes. How can you be okay with this? And who says I'm okay with it? I'm just doing what has to be done. We can't afford to take the risk of letting anyone, especially my family, to know that there is fire on the mountain. Well, I, I thought we agreed that we were going to work on this. Isn't that what we're doing? By faking it. Fred, I can't get the thought of that incident out of my head. But you also got your pound of flesh. It's not so easy to forget. You know, perhaps we need to focus more on forgiveness first. It feels so good waking up next to the love of your life. I love you so much, baby. Sure she must have slept off staring at her sister's Instagram page again. Well, Jude, I'm always on my sister's Instagram page because I admire the way they love and respect each other. Don't tell me you slept in your car with the doors unlocked. I couldn't get myself to sleep next to a betrayal, Jude. Sorry, I'm sorry, Vivian. Baby! 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 Baby, me. Please tell me what I have to do to fix this. Please. You want to fix this? Yes. Okay, come here. Look at this. Here. Have it. Fix it. If it's still the same afterwards, then you can fix my trust that you broke.
Ah. Over. Guy, where's your car now? And my car is still at the mechanic now. Where you park? I parked at the other side. I thought we were going with your car now. I'm very hungry. Ah, guy, you need to change this mechanic. I've told you. Find without number. Now this guy go keep that guy is an imbecile. This is how my wife was suffering with her car until she finally changed her mechanic and started using mine. Yeah, that reminds me. Fred, how's your wife? I saw her post this morning. You really want lucky dude to have found such a woman that loves you that much, you know? You know, you just sounded like my wife, who basically sleeps on Kate's Instagram page. Admiring the kind of love they have and wishing I am more like Fred. See, see, see how annoying that is. See, I wish I have the kind of love both of you have. I thought you don't believe in love, Bob. Yes. But after seeing you and your wife, for every morning on Instagram, I tend to question my true love doesn't exist theory. And that theory is whack. I mean, true love exists. Fred and his wife are a typical example. Hello? Mr. Julius, good afternoon. We're at the office, but my partners and I were just going out to have lunch. Yeah? At the airport? Okay. Okay, I understand. No, it's, it's, it's not a problem. I'll go. Okay. What's that? He wants me to go pick the client up at the airport and take her to the hotel. Ha. Huh. Yeah. So how do we do? Um, okay, you guys just... We'll pick a taxi. Uh, pick a cab, find your way. Okay. Let me just quickly pick uh, my car key, go to the airport, and then I'll catch up with you guys later. Okay. Huh? All right. No. All right. All right. Do we, are, do we place you another for you? Um, no, no, no. Just All right. do your thing. I don't know how long. Beautiful. Hi. Shama, right? Hello. Hello. Let me take that. So, how was your flight? It's no, thanks for asking. We were expecting your father. Something urgent came up. He had to be in London this night, so he sent me here to take care of the deal. Okay. You work for your father? I'm his only child. So he made sure I know everything about the business and investments. Or do you have a problem working with a woman? Absolutely not. No. <laughs> I'm not a primitive man who is intimidated by a strong woman. As a matter of fact, I do admire a woman that can handle business just as good as any man. That's nice. I see. So, when do we proceed with inspection of the properties? Um, how long do you plan to stay in town? Um, two to three days max. How long is the inspection going to take? About two days, but you know we can't really judge the traffic, so give or take. So, what's the delay for? How about we start today? I don't see why not. Sure. All right, so I have to go to my lodge first to freshen up, so you can call pick me up two to three hours time from now. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Julius already made arrangements for a taxi that will pick you up at the hotel. Um, I would prefer you drive me instead, if that's not a problem. Mm, no. That's not a problem. That's better then. Yeah, just come in. Let's get to it right away. You're alone? Yeah, yeah. 
I had to drop her off at the hotel. Said she needed to freshen up. So what does she look like? Wow. Oh more. <laughs> guy, 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 wait, wait. <laughs> guy, let me see. Oh more. <laughs> oh boy. What? Yeah. <laughs> Babe, is she single? She's out of your league. No woman is out of my league. Bro. Yeah. This one is, I swear. Hmm. I don't believe that. See, I can get any woman into my bed just like this. I know that. Really? Yes. Look, bro, <laughs> if you came from the kind of money this girl comes from, then mm -hmm. perhaps, perhaps maybe you stand a chance to date her. But getting her to your bed like this, forget it. She's hey. out of your league. Are you betting that? Yeah. Yeah. Bet it. Yeah. Hey, 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 wait. What's that? Whoa, slow down, man. No one is going to mess up my future money, okay? So please, I beg. Let's forget about you proving to anyone that you're a woman slayer. Let's focus on getting this deal sorted. Okay. Okay, guys, I think we should go. So where are we going to? To the hotel. We should go pick her up. Wait, why are we going to the hotel? I thought um, Mr. Julius made provisions for a car and the driver for her. Yes, he did. And I told her that, but she said she prefers that I drive her. What? Why? I don't know. Hmm. Mm, is there something you're not telling us? Something like what? Like she rejecting the car and the driver and wanting you to drive her. Yeah. We're going to the hotel now. When you meet her, you can ask her that personally. Okay? Okay. <laughs> Where? What? Let's go. Huh? Guys, look. She said she just has two to three days to be in town. So I suggested that we get to it immediately. Start showing her the properties. Okay, so let's just go. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Why are we waiting outside the hotel? Here she comes. Oh my. She looks really gorgeous. What did you see hot? You ready? Yeah, sure. Okay. Meet my partners, Jude and Bob. Guys, meet Shoma. She's Chief Williams' daughter. She's here representing her father, who unfortunately couldn't make it for the inspection since he had to attend to other business. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Did you fall from the sky? Excuse me? Oh, I've heard so much about angels, but I haven't met one until today. Nice to meet you. Shall we? Yes, please. Get the door for her. Steve, you didn't mind. You're married, I'm not. Very nice. What are you wearing? Gucci, Chanel. So, Fred, tell me more about the properties you and my father to invest in. Uh, what exactly would you like to know? Why do you think it's a good business for him to invest in? Why? Well, everyone knows that real estate is a very lucrative business, you know? So, looking at his Sorry, portfolio. That's my father. I need to take this call. Okay, sure. Hello. Hi, Dad. I'm fine. How about you? Look how happy we are. 
four years of marriage and they are still rooting for each other. You why? Through the night I got married just last year already having infidelity issues. I felt that marriage was so mean. I guess I was wrong. type of love she has. Why am I the one with a man who cheats? What? So, I hope you liked the properties we saw. Yeah, they were impressive, I must say. And the prices aren't bad at all. Great. So, we'll see the remaining ones tomorrow, right? Yes, we will. Okay. What time are you coming to pick me up? What time do you want me to come? Um, how about I get your number so I'll call you if I'm ready? Okay. Um, it's the same number I called you with at the airport. Oh, alright, no problem. I'll save it, so I'll just ring you. Okay. Alright, bye guys. Bye. Mm. You bald man. That girl really dealt it you. <laughs> <laughs> I warned the nigga, but he wouldn't listen. He still went and made a big fool of himself. <laughs> Just because she comes from money doesn't mean she's special. Oh, she is, actually. I mean, the girl takes care of her father's business and does it very well. If you ask me, I'd say that's very impressive. That's why you're okay being her driver. Or is there something else you're targeting? Something like what? I saw the way you were looking at her, and I know that look. What look? The look when you want to eat. Hey, come on, Bob. Freddie is happily married and won't want to do anything to jeopardize his marriage, right? No. <laughs> Not when it comes with a woman with that kind of body. And from what I observe, she likes Fred. Yeah, I kind of noticed that too. Right? Fred is true. No, I'm not. Are you now saying that if she offers that body with a platter of food, you will take it? I don't shit where I eat. Man, you better not. Trust me. There's nothing good in letting a woman put us on there to what God has joined together. Jude, what's going on? Where did that come from? Well, um... Vivian found out that I cheated on you. Oh, so you two did run this thing? Come on, I'm not perfect. Oh my God. So I'm not the only street dog here? Hey, no. You are the only street dog here. Because you are intentionally a stray dog. But mine was a mistake. Really? So you mistakenly found your small man in the horny part of another woman that is not your wife. Oh, come on, Bob. Must you paint the picture so vividly? Oh, I'm only trying to understand how <laughs> the mistake came about. And nothing more. Mistake indeed. Sis, it's not something we can discuss over the phone. That's why I'm coming to your house right now to see you. Okay. But I'm not at home yet. Okay. What time will you be back? Late in the evening. I could stop by at your house to see you. No, I will not be in my house, sis. Then we can see tomorrow at your place. 
Look, about my house, that's one of the reasons I need to see you. You know what? Look, I'll just go to your house and wait for you. Sis, I might take some time. Sis, I'll wait. Okay, see you soon. Okay, bye. Oh, what's this now? Eh? Why is she insisting on coming to my house? I better leave this house now before she comes here and find out I'm at home. See you guys tomorrow. You leaving? Yeah. Alright, take care, man. Dude, so how did she find out? She found lipstick stains on my shirt. And you couldn't just claim it was hers? Bro. Women have a way of keeping track of all the colors of lipsticks they have. So, according to my wife, she does not own a red lipstick. And the lipstick color on the shirt was red. That's bad. Yeah, it is. So, how are you guys handling it? Oh, she's not handling it well at all, bro. I won't even lie. And I don't even know what to do. Just tell her to tell you how to fix it. I begged her, baby, what can I do? Just say something. But guess what she did? My wife went into the kitchen and came out with a red ribbon and the scissors. She cuts the ribbon into two and hands it to me and says, I should fix this ribbon to exactly the way it was before she cut it. And that is the only way I can fix a broken trust. Damn. Yeah. That sucks. Yeah, it does. So, bro, please tell me. Tell me there's a way I can fix a broken trust. You can't. And even if you should want to, it's going to be like the hardest thing that you ever do in your life and it will take forever trying to fix a trust that was broken out of stupidity. And even when you succeed in fixing that trust, it can never be like the first trust to always have scars around it, painful scars. That's a price you have to live with, a price you have to pay. As a reminder to never take anything for granted ever again. Hold on. Please tell me, is this still about me? Or did I miss the part when we moved on to another topic and started talking about someone else? I'm sorry, man. I just got carried away there. I guess the point I'm trying to make is you can't fix a broken trust, but you can just try to earn it back. And it takes a long time and a lot of effort. Would you cheated on you? Can you believe that? No. <sighs> when? Sis, I don't know. I don't know. I was just so furious to even talk to him about it. So how did you find out? From a lipstick stain on the shirt he gave me a few weeks ago to wash for him. Can you imagine? Wow. That's unbelievable. I know. I really thought he was different. You tend to see the good in every man because you married a perfect man. Not everyone is Fred. What makes you think I married a perfect man? Because he is. How do you know he is? Sis, I have eyes. We all have eyes. I mean, everyone that knows you and Fred see how much you guys love and care for each other. What do you mean by we? I mean me, your friends, our family members. 
Everyone that know you and Fred. I mean, we see you guys on your Instagram page now. Wait, you mean they all monitor my page? Sis, we all admire what you two have. You are so, so lucky. Hmm. So the act is working. A anyways, um, sis, so how are you going to handle this issue with Jude? You know that my mom will never approve I divorce him. So I just want to stay out of the house for a while, you know, just clear my head and decide what to do. So since mm. I was wondering if I could start your house for some days. My house? Only for a few days. I really cannot. I just can't stand looking at that man right now. She can't be here and not find out that things are not what they seem between Fred and I. So can I? I... Sure you can. <laughs> Honey, welcome home. <laughs> um, I'll be right back, sis. Okay. I'm so sorry to hear about Jude. How long were you standing at the door? Long enough to hear the path where he cheated. I'm really sorry. My day was fine. What about yours? Fred, this is not a joke. Really? Oh, okay, because I, I thought that was what we were doing, you know, like playing games with our marriage. She can't stay here. Why not? Oh, because you don't want her to find out that your little couple's gold that you're selling on social media is all fake. Fred, she can't stay in this house with us. She's family and she needs our help. She's staying. I suggest you move your things out of the guest room and make space for her. So now that you've moved your things back into the master bedroom, can we actually start working on our marriage by talking about the incidents? <laughs> Fred, if you think moving my things into the master bedroom means that I... <laughs> hey, baby. I enjoyed every bit of it last night. <laughs> <laughs> so Great. what are we having for dinner? <laughs> Spaghetti and fried fish. Smells nice. Yes. Nice. Tastes even better. Oh, I can't <laughs> wait. Ah. Oh, my baby. <laughs> Sis. Yes? How do you do it? Do what? Keep your marriage flourishing. Ah, oh, come on. Sis, every marriage has issues. Yours doesn't. Sis who? Look. Fred and I do have our disagreements and challenges, but we always find a way to move around it and overcome. How do you overcome these challenges? First Corinthians 13, 13. You know the verse, right? Love is patient, love is kind. Exactly. <laughs> I see. Yeah. Um, sis, can you help me with this? Yeah, I'll be right back. Just continue. I'm coming. Thank you. 
you're obviously still hurting from the incident. Even though we're even now. So why don't we just talk about it and be done with it once and for all? <laughs> who gets the bed? What do you mean who gets the bed? It's big enough for both of us. Fred, there's no way I'm lying on the same bed with you. Fine. You can sleep on the floor. I'm pretty sure it's going to be very comfortable for you. Huh? And you can have all the space you want to yourself. This tastes really nice. Thank you. It's fantastic. I can never get enough of her cooking. Mm. <laughs> so our food is a little behind this. You're getting more handsome by the day. <laughs> <coughs> no, I'm jealous. Mm -mm. Come on, babe. There's nothing to be jealous about, okay? I'm all yours. Yeah. <laughs> I know, baby. Wait, let mm. me move this. Yeah. Okay. okay. Now I'm jealous. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down. Mm. <clears throat> Baby, let me give you water. Oh. <clears throat> mm. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, I think I'll start eating in my room. Sorry, <laughs> 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 baby. Mm. Mm. You heard her. <laughs> You're making me fast. Don't be jealous. Calm no, down. My... Mm. Mm. I'm beginning to feel sleepy. I should go get some sleep. Um, good night. Good night, sis. Good night, babe. You should probably become an actress because you're really good at acting. Hey, baby. I saw your missed call earlier. 
He was with me when you were calling. What's going on? Mm, okay. Hello? Jude? Yes, she's here with us. Dude, I, I don't think she wants to talk to you, but I'll try, okay? Just hang on. I'm here. Um, are you sure you don't want to talk to your husband? I have nothing to say to him. Bro, she still doesn't want to talk. Can you put the phone on speaker? Let me talk. Okay. Um, yeah, on speaker phone now. I know you can hear me. Look, I also know that you're very angry and you have every right to be. But please, I don't want to lose us. I am willing to do whatever it takes to fix what I broke. I messed up. I know, but please don't give up on me. I can't lose you, Vivian. I love you. Have a good night's sleep. Thanks for it. Um, you're welcome, bro. Anytime. Good night, Vivian. Good night, Fred. Are you really going to sleep on the floor? Come on, Kate. What if your sister walks in and finds you just sleeping on the floor? What excuse are you going to give her? Fine. Suit yourself. Yes, that's right. What are you doing? My sister is at the door. What? Thank mm -hmm. you. 
So, you don't want to fix this problem or what? I'm not doing this right now. Okay? When are you going to stop avoiding talking about this and face the problem head on? I'm late for work already. Let's take a picture. No, no, no. Please. I'm done with this. Okay? I'm not going to keep pretending like everything is okay when it clearly isn't. If you want to show the world that our marriage is strong, then perhaps we should actually work on making it strong by fixing the problems we have in our marriage. Thank God I took some pictures while we were having breakfast. Me and my world having breakfast. Guess who made the breakfast? Guess right. It's this poppy face here. <laughs> Love you. To the moon and back. Posted. You think you're wise. Hello? Miss Williams, good morning. Please, just call me Chioma. Uh, okay. Uh, Chioma, are you ready for the day's inspection? Yes, I am. Can we do this with all your partners today? I... Three is the crowd. Sure, sure. Whatever you want. Alright, see you soon. Alright. Why doesn't she want me to come with the boys? I'm here now. Yes, at the hotel. I'm just downstairs. Okay. So beautiful. That outfit looks great. Thanks. I was hoping you noticed. Shall we? Yeah, sure. Okay.
Are you serious? Wait, you guys are going for the inspection alone without us today. Okay, you know, just let us know how it goes, okay? All right, bro. Yeah, bye. What did he say? That they're going for the inspection without us today. Interesting. Yeah. Just the two of them? Yeah. Fred and the girl? Yes. That bastard. Ah, come on. It's not his idea, it's the lady. Yeah, I know. He's up to something. Uh, we both know Fred is not like that. We know he loves kids so much and he will not do anything to put his marriage at risk. Let me tell you something. His marriage is already at risk. It is. Why do you say that? See, he is with the most sexy lady I've ever seen that also likes him. Okay, are you now saying that if she makes a move at him, he will resist? Mm. He's so screwed. I tell you. you see him, well, let's just hope he won't fall for her now. <sighs> Did you fix your car? No. So how are we going to the office? We are using Anuba. He's at the gate already. All right, let's go down. Yes, I'm coming out. Two loaves of bread, both opened. That's weird. Why is everything opened like they are eating separately? Are they eating separately? Nah, it can't be. I mean, it's Fred and Kate you're talking about. There must be an explanation for this. Of course. Talker, well, I only talk when I have something meaningful to say. That's interesting. I'm like your partner. What's his name again? Bob. <laughs> exactly. The one who doesn't connect his brain to so now before he sleeps. Hey, <laughs> that's my friend you're talking about. You know. I'm sorry. I just couldn't wrap my head around how someone like you would think someone like that. You know, he does have his good qualities. He does? Yes. You just have to be patient, you know, get to know him first, you know, and get past the talkative side and, you know, see the good side of him. Okay. You seem like a nice guy, though. Your woman must be so, so lucky to have a man like you who defends his friend behind your back. Yeah, thanks. I don't see a ring on your finger. Well, I'm not married. Neither do I have a boyfriend. Really? I find that hard to believe. What part of it? That you don't have a boyfriend. Why is it so hard to believe? Have you seen yourself in the mirror? <laughs> <laughs> I see you got words to her. No, I don't flatter. I'm just saying it as it is. You're beautiful, you're smart, you're intelligent, easy to communicate with. With all of those qualities, I find it hard to believe that you're not off the market already. Well, I'm not off the market on purpose. I just chose to be single. Really? Why? past experiences? Something like that. Hmm. 
You want to talk about it? Nah. How about we talk about you? Me? Yeah. Okay. What would you like to know? Um, tell me about your wife. She must really love you. You're quiet. It's complicated. Well, it's a good thing we have all day. I want to hear it all. So, um, so what do you think about the properties? You and your team are doing a very great job. I'm glad uh, you convinced my dad to invest in this property. So? We'll sign the deal tomorrow. Yay! <laughs> great! <laughs> Thank you. So, what about our conversation? Well... It was all my fault. You guys are even. Well, I, I put her in that position in the first place. How? She was just trying to get back at me for what I did. Okay, I get that, but what's the excuse for no one wanting to talk about the problem? You're trying to fix it, right? Of course I am. Why did she want me to work in that I don't know. It's one thing to make a mistake and you're willing to correct it. And it's another thing to make a mistake and insist to remain a mistake. The difference between the two is when you love and care about something, you broke, you try to fix it. But when you don't care, you leave it broken. I'm hungry. Okay. Waiter. Waiter. Fred? 
She's still not back from work. Uh, not yet. But I, sp I spoke with her. Uh, she said she's on her way. Does she always come back home this late? Of course not. It's just today. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, probably the traffic. Okay. Thank you. <sighs> Where are you coming from? Where will I be coming from? It's not work. At this time of the night. It's almost midnight. I didn't I have a coffee. You know, your sister was asking if this is how you come home late from work every day. What business does she have asking you that? She should focus on fixing her marriage. I'm talking about fixing marriages. Why aren't you doing anything? to fix the cracks that we have in ours. Cracks? <laughs> Fred, our marriage is at rock bottom. Okay. And you think leaving it there and pretending to the rest of the world that everything is fine with us is the best solution. Fred, can we not do this now? I'm really tired. Ah. Of course. She was right about what she said. Who was right about? What she said? A friend. A friend? Fred, you spoke to someone about our marriage issues? Yes, I needed to talk to someone. And who is, who is the someone? Who is that? Like I said, a friend. A friend? A woman? Yes, a woman. You have a problem with me talking to other women? <laughs> Why should I? A cheat is always a cheat. Talking about fixing marriages, why aren't you doing anything to fix the cracks that we have in ours? Cracks? <laughs> Fred, our marriage is at rock bottom. Okay. And you think leaving it there and pretending to the rest of the world that everything is fine with us is the best solution? Fred, can we not do this now? I'm really tired. Ah. It's one thing to make a mistake and be willing to correct it. And it's another thing to make a mistake and insist to remain a mistake. The difference between the two is, when you love and care about something, you broke, you try to fix it. But when you don't care, you leave it broken. Um, sis, yeah? You must have come home really late last night because I didn't hear you coming. Yes, you're already asleep. I noticed something. What did you notice? 
Okay, now this is going to sound very stupid, but you and Fred, do you eat separately? What makes you think that we eat separately? Oh, I noticed how you kept things in the fridge separately. Oh, that? <laughs> ah, sis, it's not what you think. Okay. Um, Fred's brother was here a few days ago and he went to the store to get some groceries and I bought some too. And um, he used the one that I bought and my husband used the one that he bought, not knowing that he had already opened the one that I bought. And so we started using both of them since he left. Yeah. That's why I was wondering. <laughs> yeah. Um, sis, have you heard from Jude? No, and I'm not going to call him anytime soon. Hey. Sis. Come on, listen to me. Okay. Look at me, I'm talking to you. Hey. Sis, you have to go home. Hmm? The longer you avoid facing your problem, the more difficult it will be for you to deal with it. Did you hear what I said? Hmm? Yes, I heard you. Okay, fine. I'm late already. I have to go to work. You can finish up with the breakfast, right? Yeah, sure. Oh. Alright, thank you. When are you going to start taking your own advice? Hi, Jude. Hi, Kate. I'm guessing she told you. Yes, that's why I'm calling you. You need to come here and take her home so that you can fix your marriage. The longer she stays here, the more difficult it will be for both of you to fix your problem. She's beginning to snoop around. Let her just go and mind her business. So we've gone around, we've seen all the properties and we're only too happy that they all meet your specifications. And I'm also happy that you've communicated this to your dad. So we're here today to just officially sign the contract. This is the contract, the same one we sent digitally and um, I'm sure your lawyers have vetted and approved. So just, um, same thing. Yeah? Okay. I'll just sign it. Thank you so much for signing the deal. You're welcome. So we're officially business partners. Let's celebrate, shall we? Sure. But I thought you said 
you're leaving town today. Oh yeah, um, I plan to stay a little bit longer. So I hope you don't mind showing me around town. I had a lot of nice places here. Yes, there are. And I'd only be too glad to show you around. <laughs> All right, let's get started, shall we? Sounds good. Let's go. Okay. Do you think he's going to sleep with her? Whatever he decides, he'll sign the contract and that's what matters. He's going to ruin his marriage. His normal marriage. He's done. Bro, you keep saying things like there's something you know that you're not saying. Oh, see, he's gone out with a beautiful, smoky, single lady that likes him. If I call her enter system, what do you expect? One of them is back already. I'm coming. What are you doing here? Should get lost. I'm already lost without you. I mean, disappear. To where? Where will I go? I can't go anywhere. You're my wife. The same wife that was not enough for you. I made a mistake. Bullshit. See, get out of this place. Just go. <laughs> She's still in this house. Yes. Is my husband back? No, not yet. Okay. I made dinner. Okay. Thank you. It's 8.30. I'm afraid he's still not back. I wonder who this friend he mentioned yesterday is. And Vivian is still in this house. I wonder when she will decide to leave. I guess Fred and I have a long acting to do. Thanks for the drinks. No, thanks. I had a great time spending the evening with you. The feeling is mutual. So, I'm gonna see you tomorrow, right? Yeah, sure. So, good night. All right, good night.
you're home late. And don't tell me it's work. Because I called Bob and he said you guys left the office since 6 p.m. So where are you coming from? Where did you go? Fred, I'm talking to you. Are you listening to me? Where are you coming from? You can talk to me when you're ready to fix this marriage. Jude. I need to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you. Just get out. Hey guys. Hey. Jude, when did you come? Since, and she won't even talk to me. She's asking me to leave. He needs to leave. I've told him. I do not want to talk to him. Like he's been 
three weeks now. Is my marriage really over? Of course not. Just give her some time. I I'll talk to her. Please. Because I haven't been myself since. I'll talk to her. Hopefully she'll come home soon. Thanks. So, a little bit told me you've been seeing, you know who. I'll see you at the office tomorrow, Jude. Ah, you better come to work with all the juicy gist. Wait. Have you guys? You know? Jude, just go. I'll see you at the office tomorrow. Just go. Go. Vivian. Hey, Viv. Hi, Fred. How's it going? Fine, fine. Thank you. What are you making? Um, pasta. Ooh. Yeah. Nice. So, um, I've been meaning to talk to you about you and Jude. Fred, there's nothing to talk about. I'm done with our marriage. You're joking. I wish I was. I'm calling my parents this afternoon to tell them we're getting a divorce. You and I know your parents will not support that. I know. But why can't I just go back to him after I... Let it all out. How could he do that to me, Fred? How could he do that to me? I trusted him. I know. I know that you trusted him. And I know that you love him. And I know how much it hurts to be hurt by someone we love. I wish I can just turn off the switch of the love I have for him. Have, you said, not had. That's a good thing. I still love him, but it just hurt me that someone I care so much about can betray me like that. I know how you feel, but you have to understand that the fact that we're hurt by someone we care about doesn't mean they love us any less. Okay? We're all humans, and humans are bound to make mistakes. The important thing is what you do after you make the mistake. Jude made a mistake, and he regrets it. And he's been making an effort to fix it. I think it's only fair that you give him a chance to right his wrong. Just think about it. You're not pregnant. Pregnant? No way. I'm not. But I thought you and Fred are trying to get pregnant. Yes, we are. But what are you doing with your birth? <sighs> Jude was here early this morning. Okay. And Fred spoke to me after I left. So 
I decided to just go home and face my demons once and for all. Hmm. That's good. So I'll call you to give you the outcome. All right, sis. If you're able to fix this, maybe um, we'll come for your anniversary, dinner, get together, whatever you guys are planning. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> yes. All right. All right. Mm, take Thank care. You so much. Safe. Bye. 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 I can't believe I'm still in this town after trying to stay for just two days. I know, right? <laughs> well, you know, I'm actually glad that you decided to stay. At least that gave me a chance to get to know you more. Same here. Oh. oh my god. I'm so sorry. So <laughs> sorry. Um let me help you with that. Oh. Sorry. Sorry. What just happened? I have no idea. I can't. How are you handling things at home? Things are still the same. What is over? I mean, you're still trying to fix it. I don't want to believe it's over. Why? Well, eventually, if it's over, just know you, you didn't like it. Your action only revealed the truth about your marriage. Play that. That what? Uh, nothing, nothing. It's just. Okay. You okay? Yeah. So, how much longer do you think you're going to stay? So I see you moved your things back here. Yes. Vivian is gone, so I figured I'd take back my room. Did you get my text message concerning our anniversary tomorrow? Yes, I did. But I don't see the point in celebrating a lie. Just put on your best act tomorrow. There comes a time when you've got to decide between what you want and what you really need Life is full of choices every time So shine your eyes before you leave Yeah, 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 yeah
looks new. This looks like something that was recently opened. The stick is missing. I have to find out what that test says. Um. Um, I, I wanted to find out what you intend to make for dinner for our guests. I'm thinking fried rice. Okay, that's good. Do you have what you need in the house? No. I'm getting ready to go to the store to buy groceries and uh, drinks. Okay. You need some money for that? No, I'm good. Alright. Good. Now that she's back, I have to find a way into that room. How you doing, guys? Hey, hey. hey. Thank you. Thank you. We brought 
wine. Wait. Okay. Yes. My man. Welcome, guys. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, congratulations. Thank Happy you. anniversary. Welcome. Thank you. I'm um, visibly set. Uh, it smells good. <laughs> <laughs> Tastes much better. to play games with Fred. <laughs> <laughs> Is that so? I joke, I joke now, come on. You know you guys learn from this impression. Baby, why are you admiring me? I'm just um, wondering how I ended up with someone like you. Oh, baby. <laughs> That's so sweet. <laughs> so, <clears throat> what was the result of the test? What test? The pregnancy test you took this morning. Wait, what? You're feeling the baby? No, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm not pregnant. So, um, how do you explain this then? It's positive. She's pregnant. Yeah, she's pregnant. Oh wow! Nice. Congratulations, man. Come on. It's not mine. I haven't slept with her in months. So, who is he? Fred, I'm not doing this with you. Give me my phone! Stay away from me! Fred, give me my phone! Stay away from me! Bob? Is that your phone? So you're the cousin? Bob? Come on, you. come on, calm down. Please. Keep it down. Come, come on, come on. Bob! Relax, bro. Come on. You've been sleeping with my wife. Sorry. Yes. No, 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 no. Come on. Come on. How long has this been going on? Since the night he cheated. Wait, what? Fred had an affair? Yes, he cheated. When? How, how is that even possible? It all started when we signed the biggest deal of our career. So we went out to drink. While we were at the bar, I noticed Jude and Fred making eye contact with these two ladies at the bar. I had a lot of drink that night. So I had to go home. On my way home, I, I, I remember that I forgot my phone on the table. So I went back to pick it.
I knew this would happen. I noticed the way they were looking at those ladies. Fred can't possibly cheat on his wife. I know George to be a dog, but Fred, he better not. Oh, I'm seducing his wife that I've always liked. I secretly followed them to the reception without them noticing. After I overheard the room Kit. number they checked into, I returned to the car and called Kit. Hello, Kit. If you want to save your marriage, make your way right now to La Juju Hotel. Yes. Yeah, I will explain everything when you get here. Please make it fast. All right. Anything, please calm down. Right? Okay. Yeah, let's go, please. All right. Cheating on me. Oh, you didn't tell me. I just got to know this night. I'm sorry. Please just get into the car and let me take you home. Please. Please. Okay, please. <laughs> do this to me? Um, Kate, I hope you didn't tell him I was the one that told you, right? No. Okay. I didn't mention it. That's fine. Bob, am I not beautiful? What does she have that I don't have? Listen to me, Kate. Some men, or should I say, fools are blind. They, they, they go around looking for stones while they have diamonds at home. I can't even believe Fred did this to me. See, kid, I respect you so much. And he knows how much I wish I am your husband. I, I can't believe he did this to you. Now I think he's a bigger fool. No, Kate, we can't do this, please. We can't. No, this will break Fred if he if if discovers that you slept with his best friend. No, please. No, no, Kate, please. I said, please. Kate, what are you doing? No, no, no. Kate, listen to me. No, 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 Kate, please. No, Kate, please. Kate. Kate. Oh, come on. Go, Kate. Kate. Okay. Just wait. Don't 
Kate! 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 What? Why are you shouting my name, disturbing the neighbor's peace? What's this? What does it look like? What's it doing here? <laughs> we used it. Where is he? Where is he? Come back what? here, he has gone. Kate, are you telling me you brought a man into this house? Why not? And you slept with him here? Why not? You just cheated and I did the same. Now we are even. <laughs> what? Us. Kate! What the hell are you doing? Where are you going to your rooms? To the guest room. I can no longer share a room with a cheat and a liar. A cheat and a liar? Oh really? You're going to move out to the guest room, accuse me of cheating? And what was that that you did? What exactly did you do? Huh? The one that told her about that night. Yes. But after that night, we couldn't stop seeing each other. So all this while, you knew that we were just pretending about our perfect couple's goal? Yes. So your marriage was having a bigger problem, but you two were busy portraying a false image to the world, your family and friends. It was her idea. I yeah. dared to live a life sort of fix the problem. Well, I tried my best to fix things, but she wouldn't even hear of it. And even when I suggested a divorce, she still said no. Why not? Because your parents would not stand for a divorce and she didn't want them to see her as a failure for having not been able to keep her marriage. You do realize that it's finally over between us. I'm going to contact the lawyers and you will sign the divorce papers. I'm not going to sign those papers. Yes, you will. Listen, I'm leaving this house now. By the time I come back to this house, if you are still here, you will regret ever crossing paths with me. Get your things and get out of my house. mom and dad to think of you as a failure, you should have worked on your marriage when you had the chance. Because I mean, that's what they would think now. You, meet me at home. going to do about the baby? Kate, I just lost my best friend and my job. Get rid of it. What? No. See, I'm not ready for any child now. And I can't even have one with my best friend's wife. Ex-wife, soon to be ex-wife. Please. Kate. Please. 
I'm sorry. No, Bob. Bob, please. Bob. Bob. Oh, please. I had to come immediately. Ah, it's over. What? See for yourself. Okay. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Do I show the boss? <laughs> yeah, it's finally over. Officially. That's so nice. <laughs> so, we can, we can do this now without me feeling guilty. 